Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about access modifiers and specifically what happens when we apply a protected access modifier to a class. I'm going to open up my web browser to javacjava.com, select Menu, then Java OOP Tutorials. Now this is my Java Object Oriented Programming Tutorials page. I'm going to scroll down here to the Protected class. The Protected Access modifier cannot be applied to a standard outer class. In Java, sometimes it matters just as much what you cannot do versus what you can do. You do not want to be that guy that raises his hand in a meeting and suggests that we make a class protected. Okay, what happens when we try to apply the protected access to a class? Let's do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this off screen here. We don't even need this anymore. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can simply right click, select new shortcut, type in CMD, click OK and finish. It's just that easy. Let's open this up. First thing you want to do is type in Java C, which is the Java compiler. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you get an error message or something else, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing a Java development kit. You want to make sure that you get that installed and configured properly. Next, I'm going to type in cd space backslash. cd is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. Next, I'm going to type in md, which is make directory Java. Now, I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder there. Now I'm going to simply um, uh, make a directory called uh, 1, because I'm going to have a class called 1 here. Just good practice. We'll change directories to the 1 folder, and I'm going to type in notepad uh, tester.java. Package 1, right? Um, just good practice here. The name of the package should match the name of the folder, and it does. And I'm going to just do a bare minimum on the protected tester, and that is it, right? Class is going to help. So protected class tester. So this class, this is the minimum we can have for a class declaration here. We're going to apply the protected access modifier to it. Let's go ahead and save this. Come down here, type in Java C. Let's uh, compile the tester. Okay, so what we get is tester.java, line 3, error, modifier protected, not allowed here, right? So we cannot apply the protected access modifier to a standard outer class. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that, leave you just with a quick final thought. The only modifier that can be applied to a standard outer class is public. A standard outer class without a modifier is implicitly assigned default or package private access. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.